Hey friend, Ed here, just showing you what I had going on the bench. Uh, latest project is a shrunken down by two thirds uh, scale Ansley piece drone. Now this uses all the same construction techniques as the full size one, uh, which I'll show you a comparison in a minute. Uh, but this turns out to be about 600 grams uh, with the battery on board versus 2.2 kilograms with the full size one. Now granted the flight time is going to be like a bit smaller, a bit lower with this one. Uh, but it should be much more transportable and I believe will carry about the same electronics on board as far as a camera and an OSD and a video transmitter that the large one does. So we'll see how this goes. So here you can see the two-thirds scale baby Ainsley Peace drone with the regular size APD here. And it's just about two-thirds scale on just about every dimension. Any thoughts? Um, the controls seem a little bit... Um Every dimension has been reduced to uh, two thirds. So that is the canard wingspan is 20 inches. The main wingspan is 40 inches. The length is nominally 20 inches, although in this particular version, I've extended it by another four inches, uh, partly to put place additional weight up front. And also because the, the hatch is located under the canard and I intend to uh, switch this around so that we have a, a tractor. So in other words, we can mount the main wing back here in the canard wing up by the propeller and just experiment with this particular design of airplane with a tractor motor instead of the pusher that it usually has just for fun no particular good reason another logical reason to construct the fuselage tube dimensions in two inches is because it nicely accepts this new battery pack that i've been using the titan lithium ion four cell that's a 3.5 amp hour battery and it fits very nicely inside that two inch fuselage tube right there but with enough space around it to allow passage of uh, wires from the camera so forth back to the uh, main bay uh, where the rest of the electronics are and so forth and this is it's about as small as you can comfortably make this tube and, and still get it nice and square um, smaller than this it's very difficult to you know, bend the corners around and so forth so this two inch nominal inside diameter is uh, is a very convenient tube size kind of plane like I would prefer to fly but right. it folds up into nothing this would be my travel plane fold the plane <laughs> For this version, I'm using a Turnigy 2200 uh, KV motor. That's the pocket rocket, very inexpensive, about $9, with a 6x4 prop, and inside a 30 amp plush ESC. And I'm also using a Turnigy IA6 uh, receiver with the dual antennas, one of, of just placed up on a little mast to remain vertical, and the other is horizontal, just for a bit of diversity. And incidentally, I used a, an Orange RX uh, stabilizer. In this plane, I don't really think it's necessary. Honestly, I spend half the time with it turned off, but since I had it, I thought I'd try it out. This has the same captive rubber band ideas, which uh, detach in the rear and the front, but they stay on what is a two millimeter carbon fiber rod that extends from the very back to the very front right there. It's one on each side. And due to the convertible nature of this canard, where this canard can come off and be switched to the the propeller side and the main wing can go in the back. I created these little hooks which go down in the hatch so the rubber bands uh, emerge from the hatch here, go over the canard and hit those little hooks right there. Otherwise the canard in the regular design would sit right here and the rubber bands would emerge from the hatch here and then go over the front there. In this iteration of the plane, I've used a folded gift card here to affix the vertical stabilizer. It's two-sided foam taped here and here, and with uh, a little application of uh, dust off in its liquid form to chill that uh, tape that can be plucked right off. But heck, you could hot glue it or Gorilla Glue it, whatever it means. And it's actually uh, remarkably strong enough uh, to attach that. I suppose you could put a little additional glue in here, but this has worked just fine for me. 
So the, the final version of this uh, miniaturized APD will hopefully look something like this. This is just over 20 inches long and is comprised of these stick-on vertical stabilizers, uh, the canard wing, which is 20 inches, the two main wings, which are 20 inches each and will be hinged at the center so they will fold up like this, uh, just as with the regular size APD, and a 20 inch fuselage plus another inch and a half for the power plant. And I would intend to remove this in order to get this whole bundle into a regulation size uh, carry-on bag. That's kind of the goal. So it's about uh, five inches by five inches by 21 inches long, and hopefully that'll fit inside a 22 inch uh, piece of carry-on luggage. Now one thing about this plane is, although it flies very slow and it's hard to stall, it can be stalled, despite the fact that it is a canard. And though it's difficult to stall, it's easy to spin once it is in a stall. And I believe that to be because the vertical surface area of the vertical stabilizers is only um, you know, half a fuselage away from the center of gravity. So it's effectively a very short tail moment arm. So as the plane slows down to a stall, it loses airspeed over the vertical stabilizers and has a short moment arm anyway. And it will tend to essentially, what I'm warning you is the behavior will be, it, it can dive off to one side pretty easily. So this is not an aerobatic plane. It's meant to just cruise around, do casual FPV. So I just like to keep my speed up a little bit and it's just rock solid straight. Now I've flown the, the first prototype that I've shown you with this 1.3 amp hour pack. And I've flown this for 10 minutes, bringing the charge down to 40%, which is storage charge. And that's just kind of like where I like to end up. And I've flown this uh, 3.5 amp hour four cell uh, Titan to 25 minutes, bringing it down to about 35% charge. Line of sight, and maybe 10 minutes is all you need, but on a good uh, FPV cruise, I, I don't see why I couldn't fly this for about 30 minutes, which is about 60% of what I'm getting from the full-sized APD, which uses 10 amp hours, uh, and this weighs easily three times what this weighs. So for bang for your buck, duration per weight and size of pack, um, this is gonna be my new go-to. While on the subject of these Titan batteries, I will mention that it's become sort of my default fleet battery over the 2.2 amp hour three cell, which I've had many of these for a long time, but these are starting to get kind of tired and puffy. And I've, but I've flown the Titan in many of my planes, uh, including the blue uh, donkey-like plane, uh, the noob tube, believe it or not, because it only weighs 208 grams. This is 190 grams, but this gives, by my math, 70% more uh, watt hours per weight, that is. So even though it's the 3.5 amp hours doesn't sound like a much over 2.2, it's also for cell. So add another 33% to that capacity. Now the chemistry supposedly is twice as energy dense as lithium polymer. However, they have the same casing and wiring and connectors. So there's, there's additional amount of weight that they share in common. I think that detracts a little bit from this being actually twice as power dense, but 70% more, I was getting flights typically where I was just getting bored and like wanted to land nowhere near the end of the battery uh, flying line of sight. So, uh, you know, consider checking these things out. They're not cheap, but they're not crazy expensive either. So, and supposedly they last a lot longer than LiPo's. These guys have lasted me for about two and a half years and they're puffy and they showed me a lot of good times, but it's time to go. As always, if you'd like to reach me for any questions or need any help on any issues, uh, best to email me. And if you're interested in, uh, getting up with the Ansley Pistrone concept. I, I happen to think it's a very cool design, very versatile, easy to transport, easy to fly, works great with and without a flight controller too. So if you wanna build one of these, I'd be more than happy to help you out with it. And until then, this or whatever project you're working on, I'll see you soon, take care.